Yeah, yummy. That's good. We'll split that and get a couple sides. Boston Market is delicious. Thank you. Yep. Yummy. It's got all vegetarian sides. Drinks, desserts. Um, okay, let's go to the patty. Uh-uh. What are you eating? Everything. Everything? Mm-hmm. We got... Stuffing. Stuffing. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Corn and mac and cheese. Corn. Mac and cheese and cornbread. Cornbread. Yeah. You guys got Boston Market? You got it? Oh, I'm wearing glasses inside. I feel like every time we make a video while we're eating. I always make a video while we're eating. It's got water and dehydrated and we're landscaping. Flip phone. What is the faulty? I don't know. This creamy spinach is amazing. Yeah. What happened? They make it out of the gun. Burr. Is it cold? It's freezing. Freezing. Yes. I just got the chill. Look at this, this is crazy. Backup camera. You've already shown that before. I did? Yeah. I still think it's cool, man. We grew up poor, we didn't have no backup camera. <clears throat> so this is sweet. Guys, uh, Yodel wants to send a camera crew out to uh, videotape me doing a testimonial. They're gonna put it on their website. It's gonna be cool. If you guys, like I said, uh, wanna side up with Yodel, Email me at the landscaping employee trap at gmail.com and then I'll get you set up. I might even be able to get you a discount. It's awesome. The, the automated email marketing for five star reviews and all that. You want to go to Ulta and get yeah. your makeup, your beautiful makeup? No, I already have makeup. You have makeup galore? Yeah. You don't like living in a metropolis? I, I do like living in a metropolis. I just don't like all the people. Why not? I wish I could have all these stores myself. Why? Because people are annoying. Why are people annoying? They just are. They're annoying. Because you wait tables? Mm-hmm. What's annoying about that? People, when they're hungry, they're vicious. This is Hall Road M59. It's like super metropolis and built up. There's restaurants and plazas and malls everywhere. If you live in Michigan, you know about Hall Road. It's like the strip. There's a go. I just pulled up at uh, Westlake Landscape Supply. My guys are at the job site uh, prepping the beds, weeding, getting ready for mulch. It's only two yards, so I'm gonna try to fit it all in my truck. I got extra leaf springs on the back, so it should fit. Uh, in this game, you gotta hustle constantly and run. You can never relax for a second. So it's just the way it is. All right, I'm about to get two yards. Two yards of double shredded red on the business debit card. Put everything business related on your business debit card. There you go. And then they write it up, and then you go to the back, and they load it up. So you put everything through the business account, and you track it all through QuickBooks, and then you sit down with your accountant, and then your numbers won't be off by the stuff, you see? Is that right? That's right. <laughs> so they ring it up, they give you your receipt, and then I take my receipt, put it in the center console, when it stacks up once a month, I put it in a big envelope and I file it away for that month. You're supposed to actually staple every single receipt and all invoice work orders, odometer, mileage and everything to each job for each day for each client, fully meticulized and organized with all receipts for that day and <coughs> that's uh, I don't got time for that, <laughs> literally. This is a job is 505 bucks for two yards of mulch and then weeding out the garden beds and putting down mulch, transplanting a little tree. I wanted 650 and I even had to lower the price by 50 bucks just to get it. So I think it's like 450 bucks. We gotta bang this out quick. 
Uh, mulch is what, 50 bucks. Labor is 100. Not even 150, 250, 350, 450. So I make 300 bucks a day, and I always take out 50 bucks for like gas and insurance and all that stuff. Three, 250, and we'll be done by three o'clock of this job in like five hours. So 250 in five hours. I'm trying to make. I mean, that might sound like it's good, but it's not because when you're dealing with equipment breakdowns and frustrations and stuff like that and insurance, um, I'm trying to make a thousand bucks a day. You know what I mean? You want to make more. Always shoot higher and higher and higher and put more and more pressure on yourself. More pressure. More, 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 more to, to perform more, to find out how to do more faster, be more efficient. Um, Springtime, I don't know. When you, It's all relevant to where you're at. All relevant. Let's check out this mulch. I got everything here. That's how you get local landscape supply in your city. They got everything. Go to the landscape supply and feel all the materials. Check them out. Learn what kind of materials they got. The different qualities, the different colors. What is it? What kind of mulch is this? Is this a double shredded hardwood? Is that Enviro Brown? Is that the dyed red? What's that? Is that compost? So also meet everybody at the landscape supply. Shake their hands. Get cool with them. And then when when you call, they know who you are and they get your delivery out quick. So here we go. Oh man, this thing is gonna sink. Oh shit, bitches. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Look at it. The truck's just. Oh my god, that's a lot of weight. I love it. Yes, son. Is that two yards? Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Ray. How are everybody doing out there? What's your uh, blog or your website? My blog is just right now, it's just now getting started. But it's Ray A. Brown, Blogs for Life. And what do you talk about? Talk about the news, anything that anybody wants to talk about, gospel, or church, or anarchy, or the president, or presidency, I can talk about it. Just hit me up at jordan 305530 at gmail.com. There you go, sir. All right. Is that two yards? Yes. Can I take some of that stuff on the ground and throw it in there? Thank yep. you, sir. Have a good one. Here at the job site, get it done, pulling the mulch out of the back of the truck, the wheelbarrow, shovel, and ripped all the weeds and crap off these tree rings to clean them up. Get the nice shape back, put a fresh coat of mulch on there. So look at all this crap we pulled up. Because the old mulch keeps breaking down and turning into compost, grass gets blown on it, seeds, leaves. Turns into that, it's perfect, you know, perfect environment for weeds to grow. So I gave the customer an option, listen, we could rip everything off completely and the old weed barrier and put a brand new weed barrier with brand new everything. They're like, no, that's too much. I'm like, well, let's just weed it, put down granule and fresh mulch. This ain't done, we just threw it on there. We gotta flatten all out, tighten it up, tuck the edges and make it perfect. Uh, I did not put an edge around this because it just gave them a really cheap price. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, just make it nice and clean. And then this back area, they possibly want it all mulched up and cleaned up, but nope. They wanted the cheapest possible price to get the job done. I told them it would be like eight something. And we got all the way down to like 650, then 555, and then finally settled at 505 to do two yards of mulch, clean up all these tree rings, and then in the front yard. So hear what I'm saying? And I also had to call him back and give him a $50 discount just to get him to sign on for the job. So we got two yards of mulch. It was like 56 bucks. So what's that? 28 bucks a yard. I delivered it myself. Uh, labor, he'll be like, let's say 100 bucks for the whole day, 50 bucks for gas and insurance. So that's 150, 206. Then. Three, four, cleaning all these weeds out here. 
along the edge just put some mulch ripping out this dead jet maple Japanese maple that died and we're gonna replant right here oh I forgot compost I gotta run up and grab compost and we gotta plant this in this weeping cherry so there you go and I'm so busy you know, making phone calls and doing estimates and calling clients back and other stuff that's going on that I haven't done any physical work like there's no time to do physical work when you get the ball rolling I'd rather do the physical work that's like the, the good old days oh when you could just put your headphones on and jam and just work away so check this out walk around the neighborhood and I see this house is crazy overgrown a big company would charge two grand to come in and trim all that that Bradford pear tree right there that's totally overgrown You're looking at 350 bucks to trim that all these shrubs in the front five six hundred seven hundred bucks to weed and clean all this out and then the backyard is all overgrown 1800 bucks say I left the estimate on their door Oh, looks like they already got it. Or did they? No, it's on the floor. So I came up and I left them an estimate and a business card earlier. Check this out. I left them a business card and an estimate. Trim your whole property. Trees, shrubs, front backyard, everything removed debris, 1800 Nope. 800 if you do a cash deal, baby. I mean, they gotta jump at that. But I know with my combi multi system and this dude I could trim that tree up in 20 minutes just go bonkers at this with the trimmers man I could I could trim this whole thing down non-stop dripping and sweat in hour and a half including all those shrubs and then trim the whole back in a half an hour and have it cleaned up and get a whole job done with lunchtime and dump in like five and a half hours on the whole property so think about that 800 bucks cash and they got a sign on there's no way they're not gonna call me at that type of deal so and I'm not coming down any lower <laughs> that's crazy that's like at least 1200 dude it's but 800 uh, let's say seven six hundred with labor dump gas everything it makes 600 profit in a day and I love these type of jobs man I love a job when we're on the one property all day trim up the entire property all the shrubs and trees and make you know a thousand bucks a day is what you want to make but depending on where you're at but dude get in where you fit in if you don't got no work lower your prices and go crazy and hammer it out just to keep activity going in your business and then you'll grow back up and then it, you got to do it. There's no way around it. You don't sit around and cross your arms and say, I'm not, I'm not driving unless I have a DTS Cadillac on 28 inch rims. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I want a DTS Cadillac. I love that guy who's really good at cooking. What? Hey, I got a quick tip. 